Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Today we are playing Lavangardiste. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a deck a thought uh, and designed by Najaro and it's basically an all out god deck. Hence the avant-garde. Uh, so we're just going to buff everything that's possible and lay down crazy buffed up guards. Have you to contest? Oh right, uh, we should play Miss Vale Warden. The next guard we draw will get some good stats. We are also running Praetorian Commander to buff everything up. Another Warden. Um, what kind of ruins our plans? <laughs> let's, let's get the East Empire Crafter out. Maybe we will get a guard. This is a guard deck. Why aren't we getting any guards? <laughs> Lightning bolt on the East Empire Crafter. Yes, a guard finally. And wow. <laughs> we could push it. We could push our luck. Let's hit for face. And then we can lay down our newly buffed up guard. That should probably discourage any attack. To get that thing down needs mm, a lightning bolt and, oh look, Sanctuary Pat. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Trying to force me to remove that. <laughs> I'll just sit for face and use Javelin. <laughs> well, that sums it up. <laughs> that sums it up. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely try one more game. <laughs> And into our second game, playing against a tribunal. Mm, this could be problematic. Like, really, really problematic. Well, just from the sheer amount of removals. That's why. Hopefully this is a mid-range tribunal. Hopefully. Uh, we got nothing to play. At least we have the ring. Um, hmm. Barrel Stalker, let's play that. If my opponent has any execute, this should be a good bait to get rid of those. So I can uh, get out my East Empire Crafter. There is one. I could buy Barrel Stalker. Emperor's Blade. Okay, so next turn, Emperor's Blade is coming down. I'm also worried uh, next turn will be 5 magic turn, so it might get cast out of Javelin. Let's see what Hallow Death Breeze destroys. A Shadow and Priest. That is good. Ha! Ah, Rangerman. Yeah, we'll have that match soon. Cast into time. Good thing we have only one of those. <laughs> yeah, we are only running uh, one shadow, uh, Hollow Death Priest. Mm. We want to benefit from the East Empire Crafter before it dies. <coughs> so the Emperor's Blade got buffed. Now has 5 6 and. 
out of all the assassin should help us, or at least uh, play some more bait tactics. Probably needs a lot of removals. Wardcrafter. Huh. By the eighth, they will meet their maker. Okay, and uh, another Daggerfall Mage. Now, how should we deal with this board? If we kill that, do we want to rally anymore? Let's give it some uh, HP. Ooh, look, another East Empire crafter. We're going to use Shadowfin Priest on the Daggerfall Mage. And then use East Empire crafter on it. At least Emperor's Blade will still be alive. Unless uh, lightning bolt strikes or some other crazy stuff. If one can actually clear my board with just a reverberating strike, a lightning bolt, and trade that wardcrafter. Dark Harvester. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play it. <laughs> Let's get some HP. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna draw some cards. So the Shadow Lane is now... Mania Lane. <laughs> The Duke of Mania. I think it's actually it's the, the first time we're playing this card in a deck. So we'll, we'll see how, how it goes. We can help one or at least it didn't got removed instantly. <laughs> uh, Brummel Profiteer and Phalanx. Hmm. I guess we'll just ignore that mummy. Ah, oh, no prophecy so far. That is good. Alright, we hit something. It could be a javelin. Yup. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Duke. You will be missed. But this buffed up East Empire Crafter combined with Phalanx that should give us some uh, a pretty good standing ground against that uh, Talvos Magister forcing it, my opponent to trade with that or lose the ward that means no more uh, hero ward so I can just smash face. Let's see what my opponent plays. Um, soon. <laughs> Ordinary Necromancer. I'm guessing he'll bring back Dark Harvester, yeah, I forgot about that. Gaining HP in the process. Sure. Uh, my opponent is down to three magical left, so he's, he can still trade and use a Wardcrafter or Dark Rebirth. Oh, and Dark Rebirth on the Necromancer will summon 
or summon a ward crafter. Yep, I was right. <laughs> Do we have the damage though? No, we are lacking two damage. Well, at least we drew some cards. <laughs> I'll try to draw their fire. We're going to trade in with uh, a Shadowfen Priest. Rally up some other thing. Let's see what we get rallied for. If we get rally on the Necromancer, that would be sweet. The problem is, the hero ward will will still respawn itself next turn. Uh, let's play Broom of Prophet here in the Shadow Lane as well. So the Phalanx is definitely dead. Firebolt. <laughs> dead due to Firebolt. Dawnbreaker. Oh, he's going to destroy the East Empire Crafter. Well, that's, um, that's, that's good. Tree Minder. Yeah, my opponent will start drawing cards because, guess what, I set up the Mania deck, uh, sorry, the Mania lane, and now he's got the most powerful creature in that lane. What can we bring back? Well, we can bring back uh, the Barrow Stalker and offer us some protection because we have lethal next turn. Golden Initiate will definitely help us push for lethal in case something bad happened. Buffon has in hand. A creature, the uh, Sirioni, giving uh, giving his, his uh, Telvos Magister plus one and drain. That's going to be bad. Arconian Sirioni. I know you have it. Come on, spit it out. <laughs> or maybe not. I'm, I'm guessing you would have played it by now. Okay, so that's the first sign of panic <laughs> before lethal is someone a camel. This means my opponent has no better play. Now, did he got something useful out of that camel? Another camel. Okay, that's... Uh, that's a wrap. Only four Magicka remains. Well yeah, well fought. Good game. <laughs> well, we did it against the Tribunal, so this deck must be good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.